Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will see what is JSP standard tag library. So in the previous lecture we saw or discussed that what is MVC architecture. In MVC architecture, JSP basically belongs to the view part, right? So the purpose of this MVC is to separate different layers. So JSP pages are used only for presentation. Control and application logic handled by a servlet. So this servlet like it serves as a gatekeeper, provides common services such as authentication, authorization and login. Other functionality of servlet is to serve as a central controller and it act as an event dispatcher to decide upon the appropriate logic to handle the request. And it performs redirecting. So far uh, we have seen this JSP like we wrote different expressions that could be evaluated like this one like request dot get parameter message right and even we can write striplets just like any java code uh, we can uh, write if else code and all the stuff but obviously this sort of thing is difficult to write and for this purpose we have JSTL JSP standard tag library JSTL so what is JSTL so just like HTML tags JSTL tags are used to simplify programming JSP right we will be using just some of the core JSTL tags in this tutorial as well as in upcoming tutorials so for example uh, just like expression evaluator in JSTL we can simply write C out and if we want some if and else condition thing then this if C colon if would work and for loop we can use for each and for URL we can simply use this tag C colon URL expression language mainly used to access properties of data classes like java beans right so similarly we can attach different attributes request in a request session so we can get that thing so it's very easy to use in a jsp page like dollar sign then we would have curly bracket and then in between we can write any expression to be evaluated for example like if we say one is less than two it will say true it because it's an expression and it would be evaluated as true and then if we can say that like 1 plus 2 plus 3 then it would be evaluated into 6 so this is the output of this small program this is a small GSP page how to start so we have to copy one line and then paste into the GSP page so it's very easy to use uh, like we have to just paste it and then we can use expression language to get values of any attribute. So expression language usage, if the servlet creates an instance, for example, my user is a user bean and put that thing into a request, one attribute user, right? So this my user was created in the servlet and then in the servlet we are putting this in one request attribute named as user so we can access this uh, all the attributes of this class of user in in a JSP page very easily by using el language so obviously it will forward it and then we will use this user dot username so this username is the attribute of user class so you don't have to specify the context it will search in in the same order firstly it will search in the page if that variable is present or not then it will go to the request if that variable is present in request or not otherwise it will check in the session finally it will check globally in the application so we can go to netbeans
new project web application named as gstl so we only have one file in index.html and let's say we can add very basic simple one html form right form and we will submit that form to one gsp page and one button so username password we will submit this to let's say gst example .gsp. we will create this file so new gsp named as gst let's go example so i'm just deleting all the stuff from this JSP. So we have to add one line in every JSP, this line. So we can now use expression language, dollar sign, curly brackets. And if we want to print that user and password that was entered by a user, then we can simply say that from parameters dot user print here and PSWD okay so very simple example of GSTL uh, from index.html we are submitting our form to jst underscore ex.jsp page in which we only have two variables user and password pswd and on this page we are just printing it you can run this example so username is let's go one two three four four Password could be any. So you can see uh, how easy it is to print through GSTL. Okay, we can use another example. Let's suppose I will submit that form to the servlet. New servlet name is fine. So in the new servlet, I can simply create one array, one integer array, integer array named as int array equals to new or I can add some values. So let's say 22, 32 so these are the four values I can put this value in the request request dot set attribute named as 
values and here I will add the name of the array so it will go to the JSP page and with this variable right in the request then I will forward my request to the request dot get request dispatcher here the JSP name would be JST underscore example underscore two dot JSP let's say dot forward okay so in this servlet I am just creating one array now we can suppose that this array is coming from some database or some other um, manipulation data manipulation and then we are putting this int array variable into a request as named as values okay and then we are simply forwarding a request to another JSP page I will create another JSP page named as JST example 2 dot JSP that's fine finish so I can simply remove I have to copy this file in every JSP file if I want to use JSTL and expression language here I just want to use the values of that array right int array so I can use C for each tag right where I have to uh, provide variable it would be item one item then I have to tell items so you can see uh, netbean is also providing some sort of help that item is a collection of items to iterate over so I will say items and name would be same that values dollar sign values then I can simply print this as one item because for each loop this I will be using this variable item and we can add one line break we can run this So no usage of this username password but you can see now the output is that four elements that we sent from the servlet so in for loop we can use some condition see if that is if that is true right test would be like that if item number is item is equals to 22 okay then what it will do so instead of printing this we can say that for 22 it will also print in heading 1 22 is formed okay so simple if condition that we have to check that this item is equals to 22 or not if it's true then it will this part of code would run otherwise for other values it would not run so you can see when this 22 is here then 
this condition was true so this part of code run 